Right, we are at St Melian. It is challenge tour event up here. Um, if you haven't seen a couple of the other videos that have been created, make sure you go and check those out. Pretty impressive experience so far. Yeah, it's um, it's a, it's just a scaled down version of what we saw at the Open, isn't it? It's well, yeah. but it's well run. Um, there's less people around for obvious reasons. Yeah. But you've got the stars of the future. You've got guys that are had tour cards that come back onto this tour, you've got guys that start in their journey, you've got guys yep. ending their journey. It's, um, it's a brilliant experience and if you get the opportunity and you like it a little bit quieter but you're still seeing some quality golf on a, a world class golf course then you need to look up these events and come and watch some, watch some great golf. Well in today's video we're going to be going out onto the golf course with Stephen Tyler. Now Steve is uh, the short game doctor. Go and check him out on Instagram because he's trying to build his profile with that as well. Um, he's going to give us a little insight into some of the holes. We're going to play the first four holes here. I was really keen to get a par three, a par four and a par five in which is on the first four holes so that would yep. be perfect. We're just going to go through his book, have an idea of what he thinks when he comes to a golf course which he's never seen before. See what he does in the practice round See how what he, he round. prepares for yeah. Or when he's playing a tournament, how we can sort of learn and, and, and make our practice in our right. game better. Right? Yeah. So we're going to head out onto the first team now, meet up with Steve, and uh, four holes at St Melian. Right, Steve. Yep. First hole, first tee. Uh, we're going to go through the process of what you're going to do for the first sort of four or five holes out here today. Okay, no we get through par four, par three, and a par five if we can, so we okay. should cover that. Yeah, perfect. We're going to go through your yardage book, yeah? Yeah. So I want to just sort of get a bit of an idea of what you kind of go through. I know this is a practice round, but you know yeah. what the sort of things that you're trying to think about when you're playing holes that you've not necessarily played before, how you work with the book. Yeah. Um, yeah, just to get get your thoughts, really. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so got here standing on the first tee. Um, normally, just look where the hole goes. Yeah. Start of all, and we can see that it's pretty blind. Goes down. Yeah. So my objective is to a find out what clubs are here, and b where we've got to get a good line. Yeah, because we can't see the fairway now. So I just come back around here. Yeah. We've got the book here. Pretty, pretty much does it all for you here. Yeah. A lot of numbers, and you've got a picture here as well, and where the where the fairway is in relation to, like sort of the lines. Yeah. So um, I see how far it is from trouble to trouble. Uh, it gives you a yardage here. If you see here, look, it's 30 yards, 24 um, between sort of these, two, like the the fairway yeah, um, width. So then that just sort of makes me decide on what club to hit. So yeah. um, this is probably going to be, uh, we'll probably hit a driver here just to see. See what happens. Um, yeah, check the wind, um, stuff like that. Also, a good idea is to check like what other people have been hitting. Really, yeah? yeah. So you're looking so, at divots. So you're looking at things. divots. So if there's a lot of divots, a lot yeah. of guys are hitting irons. Yeah. So some guys have it irons here today. Uh, it's downwind off the left. So a lot of things to consider, but we go through it so much that it's like yeah, second, sort of nature. second nature, yeah. So I'll probably hit, um, I might actually hit a three wood. We'll go, we'll go three wood. And now just trying to pick a line here. Um, I would say probably uh, somewhere on that house, probably the little uh, turret on the house there. Yeah. Try and cut off and just to see what happens. Everything goes right. Out of bounds on the right, so we just got to be wary of the wind uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, probably three, three wood. It is three wood. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you can't do this in the main event, but sort of practice around here. I've hit three wood, hit a little bit right. Yeah. Doesn't come down off this bank. Ideally, I'm a little bit too far. I'm got a tough shot here. Got by the yellow dot. So we hit it here. We've got one, five, six, uh, minus eight on the slope. Yeah. So it's not too bad at this. You are ideally trying to get down by that red dot now, yeah. um, but not, I'm going to have to have a look to see what's over that ridge. So uh, it is three wood, probably three wood and just a little bit further left and it might get down to there. So 
practice round then? Are yeah. you just going to play your, play your ball or do you chuck, chuck the ball um, out where you want I'll to probably, put it? Or? I, I probably, yeah, I'll, put, I'll play it anyway, but I'll probably play another one from down there, yeah. yeah. It's quite normal just to chuck sort a of chuck down. one down there yeah. and, and just play where you're playing, but just to get an idea of the rough and stuff. Okay, got a nice kick there. Thick rough and just like sort of like working out. I, I will hit a few from the rough this this practice round just to see what I can get out of it and what sort of shots you're going to get out the rough this week. Just want to bring you over to this side here because there's yeah. a little bit of again if you get it going left. out the left and it doesn't yeah, yeah. kind of come back, it's kind of dead yeah. down there. So yeah. just be mindful of it. Yeah, you're in trouble here, aren't you? Especially with the cart path cart as well. Path. I mean like. You could literally get one bouncing there and it's gone down there. Yeah. Uh, thick rough. Uh, I mean, that's no go. Yeah, so left is definitely not, not, not good. An it's, a, it's a good hole, it's tight. Um, good starting hole. Three wood it's going to be. Driver, you just you don't even have to hit that bad a shot and you're, you're bringing this into play. So it, it'd be three wood. Yeah, just take out a couple of balls and this is like where I can just like chip round. Um, just looking at possible pin placements and stuff like this. So probably uh, just playing out here for so long, you just get to know where they're likely to be. There's going to be one like round here, no doubt. And you're just looking just, you know, if I get in that position again where I've hit it up the right, where's a good place to miss? And we're looking probably around here. So I'll just hit a couple of chips um, to different, yeah, where the pin is there just ignoring the pin today and I'm just putting out little little placements where I think the where the pins are going to be potentially so just you're ignoring that ignoring that pin because they're not going to put it there in the tournament are they? no no chance because they'll wear no. out there so yeah I mean that's just like look, normally in the middle of the green that it is now um, no it's not it's not going to be anywhere near there so you'll get one day up the top there but it won't be uh, close to that pin so yeah it's not ideal like sometimes uh, so sometimes go round like if long doesn't seem doesn't seem like the good miss you know just try and find out where and I'll just hit a few from here just to see how really bad it is and to that front pin it's not ideal you need a lot of yeah it's okay the, the greens are quite soft so it's not like end of the world stuff but uh, yeah, need a good skill set to get that close. Par five strategy then. Yeah, we've got Second par hole. five. Uh, book comes out again. Yeah. Uh, first thing I see is uh, yardage. So if it's like 600 yards, I know I can't get up in two okay. straight away. So do I need to hit driver? That's the first question. A lot of people get to a par five straight driver out the bag. Um, if there's any fairway bunkers or anything like that, and it sort of that brings them into play, driver brings that into play, yeah. I won't hit it, I'll hit three wood, yeah. so um, if I'm laying up. So... Just looking down, divots everywhere as well then. A little bit, yeah. Going I mean, they've hit, I don't know why they've hit irons, so you have a look anyway, but it is 5-4-5 five, five into win, uh, pretty straight. I, I, I'll probably hit driver here, just to see, see what happens, yeah. and then it's gonna be a layup, so. Um, my main goal is just to not hit it in trouble really now, so uh, just get it on the fairway. A lot of people have been hitting from the left side, it just opens out, you can see a little bit more. So that, that's another thing I look for in practice rounds, where to, where to tee it up. I can just go hit another one, but I, th I thought I, it was quite a long way left to to get there, so I need to go a little bit right. Same spot. Okay, left again. We'll see. Yeah, so, uh, might not be a driver there. It might be just a little three wood down there, and then lay up. Second shot, par five. Um, sort of look, got these dots around, so close to the yellow dot. So I'll pace out a number in the tournament. So probably like 10 less than the dot. And then you've got um, layup numbers on all of these. So 
Um, I try and leave myself, I potentially we've got to try and leave ourselves a wedge here uh, into wind. We're going to have to get past sort of around that 90, 115 region. And that looks to be about two, yeah, about 200 yards, uh, two, maybe a bit more, 230, 240. So yeah, we're going to hit uh, three wood down there to lay up. Good hit, really good hit. Okay, nice. Yeah, quite soft. That's a big hit. Yeah, so that's that's nice layout there. What do you shot. carry that normally then, that three wood? Uh, about two, three, five. Most Challenge Tour yeah. events, are they quite wide open golf courses? Or yeah. Are they, uh, or are they narrow like this one? No, this is the narrow, one of the narrowest I've seen out here. Yeah. So, um, it's normally a, a lot wider open and just sort of bomber's paradise basically that yeah. what we say but um yeah this is so how chill. do you how do you kind of rank on tour when it comes to distance uh down the bottom like yeah. way down yeah so, so this type of course sort of suits you more really. yeah it would suit me a little bit more i mean now i already get a feel now what i've got to go ahead and work on before the tournament now so i mean if you hit 12 fairways around around here 11 12 you're going to play well like i've already know that from playing two holes and just looking through the book a little bit so you just get a feeling of like what you need what skill set you need to play well where do you feel like you are with this layup then happy with here um i'd say this is a bit too close yeah yeah i think i can hit you uh, button that three wood down yeah, there, button it. i don't need to hit three wood so no i'll just be hitting a uh, th three arm rescue here yeah just, so, yeah, it down. just probably back down there to that um to that red red square yeah. red cross so yeah so but this is good this is like i mean you should 52 yards in here yeah i mean you've nailed the number there haven't you yeah average that should be like in in there tight really yeah so um, but it's not actually a bad layout. The only thing that I'm thinking about is that back right, that back left, sorry. Yeah. So that is going to be a pin in there. And yeah, you sort of just want to see if this sort of spins really, you've got enough spin. I'd say that's probably about, probably playing about 75 yards today. And I'll just hit one in there. Yeah, so not too bad, but that's sort of the left pin. And I, in a practice round on a par five, I'd sort of hit maybe one to like where I think a pin's going to be and stuff like that. And yeah. just all I'm doing now is just trying to get comfortable in, in my layup and just make sure that my uh, scoring clubs are, are honed in. So funky green. Yeah, funky green. Small not green. Not overly big, is it? No, no, small green. Um, yeah, good par five. I mean, this is tough course. This is already, I'm just thinking, um, sort of looking back, look, you see how narrow that, that uh, fairway is. Um, again, I've put another tee. I'm ignoring this, really. Put another tee. I'm going to hit a few bunker shots in this one. So, okay. yeah, just get used to the sand. Yep. When, we, when we was warming up, when we was doing the chipping and that, uh, chipping, there wasn't a bunker. So, my... I've got to get used to this sand and just um, hit yeah. some bunker shots, definitely. I usually come in the bunker f at the start of the week, um, hit a few bunker shots, but first I do my two line, uh, like Seve two line drill, okay. just to get used to, yeah, just do two lines and then go down the line and just seeing where the, where the sand, what sort of sand we've got this, this week. Quite wet, but it's quite nice actually. It's, it's a good sand. Um, also, how much sand we've got in the bunker, you know? Yeah. So are yeah, they gonna plug? Um, these are like sort of firm around here, so they're gonna run into the middle of the bunker. Yeah. So there's no point really hitting too many off like an upslope. And they're just gonna run into this area yeah. where it's raked. Um, and it looks pretty decent actually. Um, looks nice, nice sand. Yeah. So. I'll just hit a few there. Yeah, okay, spin quite well. 
just sort of I'm just seeing how they spin, how they react on the on the gra on the on the greens. These use quite getting quite a bit of spin on them, so um, good amount of control. Yeah, when there's a lot of sand, and it's like sometimes we get this like grainy sand with lots of small pebbles in it, and that runs out. But this seems to be uh, good sand, so. So we've just had a we've just had a shaft change. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so moving quite, into the a tight stiffer. Air, tight course. Yeah. Uh, this one's a little bit shorter, a little bit stiffer. Okay. Uh, I haven't used this for a while, so we we'll just see how this goes. But it, this one goes a little bit straighter and, okay. and more penetrating flight than the other one. Oh, I love that. Nice. Love that. Yeah. Great swing that. That's nice. Yeah. I'll probably hit another one just in like, you know, you can't really hit drivers on the range. So no. um, I'll probably just hit another one just to get used to it, just to see, yeah. you know, if that wasn't a one off. Should feed down off that yeah. slope a little bit. And do you know what? Even if it doesn't, it's uh, you're only left with like a wedge or something in there yeah. anyway. So. OK, yeah, just feeling like it just, it just it just goes straight every time. If it goes yeah, left, it goes straight shape. left. Yeah, very, very yeah. little shape, yeah, so. Good swing. No. So feeding down off this bank, it kind of not bad, is it? No, not too bad. Compared it's better than right. Some others, yeah. Right yeah. is dead. Right's dead here, yeah, so. Um, not too bad if you feed it down off there. Um, yeah, the only thing that I'm worried about is if it's downwind getting in that bunker. Yeah. If that's into play. So you've just got to be aware of that. Probably make a note in my book. Yeah, into wind, just trying to figure out like how far, like 110 yards, you know, probably playing about sort of close to 117, 118. So we'll go with that. Cover that, cover it. Okay, pin high again, just a little right. Just needs a little bit of dialing in really so quite small greens we just mentioned that walking up like very small greens so quite uh quite narrow so we're gonna have to like sort of accept that you're gonna miss quite a few greens this week um we're going to spend a lot of time sort of chipping around and just your expectations like change you know so don't get upset if you do miss a couple of greens and you know you have to scramble maybe one round out of the four a little bit more than we usually do. So I'll just, I'll just spend a, l a little bit more time on the practice practice round, just chipping a little bit more. So yeah. got my tee there again, ignoring the pin, and just uh, we'll just hit a few here, just quite a simple little chip. Popping it up there, let it roll down. Par three, um, looking at the book, just to sort of, my first thought on a par three is middle of the green, basically. I'd probably put like MOG, MOG, and just like think, right, where's middle of the green? Gets very narrow at the front, and we've got a lot at, on the right. It looks like it goes off on the right into yeah. like sort of a um, water hazard, but it's actually some bunkers, so you're saving gray. So it's not as bad as it actually looks. Uh, there, you've got some bunkers that might save a shot going down to the right. Hit a few to the middle of the green in the practice round. So just see what club gets to the middle of the green. So probably about 10 on from that pin. We've got 149. So one we've got about 165 to that pin. So probably playing about 175. I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit a five iron. This usually goes about 180. Into wind, just looking. It's a very intimidating shot. It's a good par three, this. We haven't had a, we haven't had a let up hole yet. It's, so this is gonna be a, it be a tough week. This is gonna be, you're gonna have to control your, control your ball flight. Straight is long um, and fly the plane this week. I think you're gonna have to fly the plane very well. Hit some good shots. Not like that. That's horrendous. Right, breeze out into out the right, isn't it? Into out the right. We're on a bit lower. Should kick down from there. There you go. Bottom of that. Dip. Okay. 
Not too, yeah. Tough shot. A dot has been located. Yeah, on this front too, yeah. You normally have a little dot here, okay. but there isn't, but there's a dot there. And also just see the, the, the quality of the tee, really. If it's a bad tee, like for instance, that front tee, where yeah, everyone where plays, everyone a lot of traffic, there, yeah. they won't go there. Too much traffic, so they might put one here. Although there's like a little bit of, I don't know what's happened here, they've had this for a day on a society or something. So they might put one here um, and put like a, a back right or back left pin, probably that left pin one of the days here. Just yeah. to keep, like you say, keep the pace of play. Keep pace really. of play and just, it is a tough shot from back there. DP World, it'd be off that back tee all, all week. So this little swale is kind of like the, almost like the bit of the bailout area, isn't it, for the hole? Yeah, there'd be quite a, quite a bit of traffic down here on the left. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, this could be like really thick rough, got half decent lie, and you've got half a chance here to that TP. So, um, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad here. The only trouble is if you hit it a little further left, you're up in there, it's not coming down from there. Or you could get one on the bank and suddenly you need a, a lot of loft with a lot of downslope. Uh, that's not ideal. Um, but yeah, if they put a pin there on the left, if they put a pin on the right, just to like put in your book not to go for it on the right, just because you, you can literally miss it like five yards. If you have a look over here, they put a pin, they put a pin here, you can actually hit it on this bank and like sort of make three from here quite comfortably, like yeah. looking to hold that. If you uh, have a pin, back here, even with the tee up. So like a pin's gonna be there where that acorn is. I mean, we're, we're looking what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna go from there in the hazard. All day, yeah. Seven shots. I mean, we're talking from the edge of the green. One, two, three, and it's in the hazard. So that's three. And I mean, looking in your book earlier when you were yeah. talking about those bunkers and they are a savior. Yeah. But, but you get it. You get you miss that trap by a foot left, and it'll bounce off the off the bank and through the trap and be absolutely, gone. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, they are a saviour as long as you don't go long. Yeah. I mean, long long right is absolutely game over. Um, yeah. So, and then if he's going to that acorn, you're trying to hit it on this probably on this bank, not on the bank, but like sort of around this area. Yeah. Or every day, like in here, and then you're okay. Um, quite a tricky putt to front there, so you, you wouldn't be that further up, but you'd be sort of where my bag is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, going to that acorn, you, this, this is okay here. Quite a lot of green to work with. Um, yeah, and it's pretty much three all day long there. Well, Steve, I, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you because I mean that, the insight there, and, and I, my objective here was to get a par five, a par three and a par four in, which we have. Yeah. We've dabbled a little bit on that short par four there with the driver shaft, but yeah. absolutely brilliant to get behind the scenes and see what kind of goes on in the brain and the mind Enjoyed of a tour player. Yeah, I think a lot of people just think practice rounds, we're just out here chatting about with our friends uh, and there's a lot more to do that. It, it, all, all our prep comes from here, what clubs to hit, you know, thinking about different wins and, you know, expectations we've talked about as well. So yeah. um, a lot of, I speak to uh, Dr. Bob Rotella and uh, we're working on uh, a number of things sort of in the practice round, what we're going to uh, entail in the tournament and we're just trying to work on that so yeah. one thing i noticed that you didn't spend a lot of time on which was putting yeah you were, and i know that the pins are in positions where you're not going to really putt to but were you now as as the round goes on we're only on the fifth hole fourth hole um will you spend a little bit more time on pace control and stuff yeah like definitely that? yeah so we've got like another five holes left i'd spend it on putting yeah um or Today I would do mainly chipping, and then tomorrow when I'm playing another nine holes, I'll do all putting. Right. So just mix it up like that, yeah. So I'll probably do a lot of chipping today. Um, the greens are small, we're gonna have a lot of chips, and 
probably not so many pace parts yeah. just looking at it because it's quite they're small greens so yeah. you're not going to have a lot of parts like so somewhere like st andrews i wouldn't do hardly any chipping it would be mainly long parts for 50 yard parts and stuff like that so, so you adjust that depending on the golf course you go to yeah absolutely yeah within the first couple yeah. of holes so i'll just carry on chipping now for nine holes and then yeah. tomorrow i've got another practice round and i'll, I'll putt then so well on mm. behalf of all of us we just want to say uh, well no. well done and also good luck for this uh, tournament, all right? Thank I'm you sure you'll, yeah. uh, you'll be absolutely fine around yeah. here. Thanks for having us. Um, and don't forget to go and follow, check out Instagram. Yeah. Um, to go and check him out on the handle down the bottom here. We'll pop it up there. You can go and see yeah. and follow you on that. And uh, don't forget, if you are new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button and we'll see everyone again very soon. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having us.